So I made this edit a while ago and it gained 30 million views and 1 million plus likes in YouTube shorts. I know why it gained 30 million plus views. But that aside, I am going to teach you how to make edits like these in After Effects. First open After Effects. Create new composition. Select the aspect ratio. And frame rate, hit OK. Import the song into project, drag the audio and drop on timeline. Right click, keyframe assistant, convert audio in two. Select and open the layer. Select the audio channels by holding control key. And open graph, mark the beat. And voila, you're done. Edit the last and first part if necessary. Add reverb for more effect if you want. Bring your clips into project. You can use this method to select parts, but I like to. Select the parts by double clicking the clip. Drag and drop on your timeline. Do this for all scenes. And now apply the upscale CC, which is optional. Now follow my steps. After that, export using Media Encoder. Open Topaz AI. This part is completely optional as I didn't upscale in my original edit too. Copy my settings.
and export. I should have said this before, but do not Twixter first because that will make the upscaling process longer. Now replace the clip in timeline with the upscaled one. Split here. And let's start to split the clip where a movement happens. To move frame by frame, use page up and down key on your keyboard. Select all clips from bottom to top. Right click, sequence layer, shorten the clips. Pre-compose and add Twixter. There are other apps for Twixtering like Flow Frames. But I am using this because it's not a long clip and I prefer this way the most. And remember Twixter won't work in every clips. For settings, input frame rate of the clip and Copy me. Pre-compose, add time remap. and copy me for the graph, the closer the points are, faster the movements will take place. Lower the preview setting to pre-render fast. Now for the effects, it's really simple. Just add an adjustment layer. Add exposure. Put keyframes on all the beat. and now go two or three frames backward and make this zero go six or seven frames forward and make it zero again select all and easy ease it to make it smooth Next we are going to make the eye color changing effect. Duplicate the clip and select top clip.
input linear color key and copy the settings for all effects Add invert Next, Deep Glow. If you don't have it, use Normal or Sapphire Glow. Lastly, add hue and saturation. Key the starting point and go to the part where it ends and one or two times the effect. Pre-compose it, put RSMB Pro. It's optional. I didn't use it on the original edit. Now add to adjustment layer. On the first one put Lumetric Color and adjust. Next, sharpen. Lastly, unsharp mask. And on the other one put S Flicker, optional. Put your watermark and export. Finish. Don't forget to like the video and let YouTube know what you enjoy watching. If this video helped you, bye, Mafakers.